In this demo, we'll sort Talend data. You can use the tsort row component to sort data in Talend. What we'll do in this demo is use this component to sort data from a database and output the sorted data to a delimited file. So first, let's go and create a new job. We'll name that sort DB data. So up here in the repository, click on the course two folder, right click and select create job. And again, we'll call this sort DB data. And now in the new job dialog, click finish. Okay, so now we want to drop the customer table from the DB demo metadata onto the design workspace. So over in repository again, expand metadata, expand DB connections and DB demo metadata. And let's make sure that the table schema is also expanded. We'll select customer. We'll drop that onto the designer workspace. And we're going to select T MySQL input as the component and click OK. Now we'll need to select and drop a T sort row component on the designer workspace. And you can see here what I'm going to do. I'm going to contract the recently used folder. And basically, I just want to do that so that I can show you where to find the T sort row component. It's under processing. So if we scroll down in the palette, we'll see the T sort row component. So let's go ahead, we'll grab that and drop that on the designer workspace. And again, you can always search for a component. So for example, if I type T sort here and press enter, you'll see the T sort row component come up. Okay, so the next component we need is a T file output delimited component because we're going to output this to a delimited file. So let's grab the T file output delimited component here, drop that on to the designer workspace as well. Now we'll connect the components. So we right click on customer, point to row, select main and drop that on to the T sort row component. We'll right click T sort point to row, select main and drop that onto our T file output delimited component. Now let's go and set up the criteria for our sorting. So making sure that T sort row component is selected, click the component tab below. Now what we'll do is we'll specify the criteria for our sort. And we want to sort by country first. So if we click the add icon below the criteria table, you'll see that Talon starts us out with some default values. So for example, customer ID. Well, first we're going to select country here. So let's click the down arrow here to open up the drop down list of fields. And we'll select country. And under sort num or alpha, we'll select alpha because we're going to sort alphabetically. And we can leave the default ASC or ascending. And there's either ASC or DSC for ascending or descending order. And we want ascending order, so we'll leave that. Now we can specify another field to sort by as well. So we can sort by two fields or two columns. So for example, we'll sort by country first and then by customer name. So let's click the add icon again and we'll specify in the drop down customer name. And again, this is alphanumeric. Notice that we have num, alpha, and date we could choose. So alphanumeric. And again, we'll choose ascending. Now let's click on the T file output delimited component now that our criteria has been specified. And for our T file output, what we'll do is we'll output to our demo project folder under output data and a file called sorted DB data dot CSV. And the field separator is a comma as usual. We'll include the header, so we'll click the include header checkbox. Now under advanced settings, again, Let's uncheck throw an error if the file already exists. So with that, we're ready to run our job. So let's open the run tab and click run. And our job is done, exited with code of zero. So let's drill down into the file system and have a look at that file. So here in output data, here's our sorted DB data.csv. Let's double click to open that. And you can see our data has been sorted. Now what I'm going to do so I'm going to change the order of these fields. So basically what I'll do is I'll grab country and I'll delete that from here. I'll cut it actually, and I'll insert the cut cells and then customer name. I'll do the same thing. 
Okay, so we sorted first by country. So you can see CA comes first, CA comes before FR, then FR, then all the US values. Okay, so this highlights the fact that we have a second sort order. So here you see the second sort order, CA for Catherine comes before CL, which comes before JO, which comes before MA. So we've successfully sorted by two columns using the T-sort row component.